What's going on guys, Ozzy here, and welcome back to a brand new video. So today we have another tier list video, a brand new series that's going to be starting on my channel. But you might know that we did the best attackers in the whole of FIFA, the best midfielders in the whole of FIFA. We did the best defenders. We even did the best prime moment icons, and we did the best icons, I think, a few months ago as well. And the, seri the series like of tier lists do so, so well on my channel. So I said, why not at the end of the day, let's keep it going. And I thought of a brand Brand new idea now we are gonna start off with the bundesliga the best attackers in the bundesliga tomorrow will be the best midfielders and the day after that will be the best defenders so this is a series that's going to be starting obviously today we'll be doing probably league santander next then league earner and then the prem depending on how many players there are defensive wise or midfield wise attacking wise i'm starting off with the bundesliga because i know there is so many attackers there's even a lot of midfielders and there's a lot of defenders that are top quality in this FIFA. But let's get straight into it. We're going to start off with the 96 Lewandowski. Bear in mind, th th I'm comparing these players. So if I put, for example, Lewandowski up here, which all day of the week he will be up here. This doesn't go towards the ultimate, you like, you know, the ultimate, uh, the ultimate tier list where the best attackers throughout the whole of FIFA 20. Uh, this is more of a Bundesliga, you know, the best attackers in the Bundesliga. So for, m for me, Cunha is in an A section. Lewandowski is definitely in that S section, without a doubt. Four star, four star. Amazing stats. He's got the pace. He's got the dribbling. He's got the shooting. He's got the physical. He's got the passing. You can play in the you can play the guy in a cam position. The high medium work rates are out as well. He has every trait in the game that is shooting wise. There's not much to say about Levin. Let's all be fair. He's top tier, and I can't wait for his 99 version team of the season. Now with Cunha, the guy is four star, four star. He's got 89 pace, 92 dribbling, 89 shooting. 80 passing and 80 physical without a doubt he's outrageous let's all be fair we've all used this card or at one time and for me he's not as good as Lewandowski but he's definitely up there now Bellarabi I actually didn't do a player review on but I actually did get the player and for me Bellarabi wasn't great he really wasn't he felt decent on the ball but it was one of those factors where I don't believe he lived up to his pace and I don't believe he lived up to his shooting. And I was really, really struggling while using him. And I didn't really like him too much. Now, I'm not going to disrespect him too much. Because I don't believe he's on the C or D section. Because there is some players in here that are definitely down here. But Bellarabi, without a doubt, is not. Now, this Harrod card. For me, I do understand he has 5-star skill moves. And you could arguably put him up here. You could. If there was like a C plus section. Or like a B minus then I would definitely, without a doubt, put him there. But for me personally, I don't think he is that top tier. And I understand he's got the five-star skill moves. But the thing that lets him down is definitely his physical stats and his shooting stats. Now, we're going to Voland. For me, Voland, come on now. Let's all be honest. For, uh, some people might even argue Voland shouldn't even be in here. For me, Voland is one of those players where he's amazing at, like, a target man role but when it comes down to pace not great not great at all now Werner I don't believe Werner's on Lewandowski level but I do feel like he's on Cunha, Cunha's level I feel like that's how you pronounce it but Werner's one of those players that you know the three star skill moves I've never been comfortable with but the, like it's one of those ones where if you get him in front of the net he will finish it without a doubt but for me I've never liked that three star skill moves let's move him over a little bit so that we can have enough room we go to, I can't really pronounce this guy's name. I think it's Tarum, the French Bundesliga striker. For me, he has to be on the same level as Volland because I don't really, I know a bit about him. I know I don't know a lot about him. I understand his shooting is slacking a little bit, passing-wise as well. But I don't believe I can put him on the same level as Harrod. Now, Sergeant, for me, I don't believe he's as good as Bellarabi because of the three-star, three-star. But I believe he is on the same level as Harrow. He's kind of one of those players where he's really, really nice on the ball. He can keep it very calm and composed. But a three-star, three-star doesn't help him at all. Sancho, for me personally, I don't believe Sancho is top, top tier. And I didn't see a, dig a big difference between this card and this card and, the, and uh, what do you call it? The 87 in form. There was literally the slightest slightest difference Sancho's obviously got a five star skill moves he's got a four star weak foot passing wise is nice the dribbling is insane the pace is really nice as well but I can't put him on the same level as Lewandowski now Royce I can 
without a doubt. This Royce card is so, so broken. And I definitely, definitely do suggest uh, getting this headline of Royce because he is ridiculous. And it's like the four star, four star obviously makes him amazing. But it's just pace, shooting, dribbling. He's got the passing. He can play him up front. You can play him down the wing. You can play him literally in a cam position if you really want to. There's not much to say about him. He is obviously top tier. Now, Rashika, for me, is on the same level as Bellavarvi. Now, what obviously Slacks and Rashika is the physical stats. He gets body like there is no tomorrow. This guy has... He looked bulky in, um, in the picture. But when you look at the physical stats, my God, does the guy get bodied. Now we go to, I can't really pronounce his name. I think it's Quayson. I think Quayson's another one of those players where he, he's on the same level as like Tarum. And obviously, I feel, for me, Voland is like under these two, but it's one of those ones where there's no like D minus or something. So you're going to have to put him on, Qua on uh, Tarum and Quayson's level. I can't, I don't see, I don't see Quayson's being as good as Sergeant. Sergeant is much better than Quayson without a doubt. Paulson. Paulson's a decent player, but you can't really be one of, you can't, re like, he's not really meta, if you know what I mean. He's one of those players where you're going to obviously see him as being on the same level as Quayson, the same level as Tarum, and the same level as uh, Voland. Now, we do go to Player. Player's not actually that bad, to be fair to him. I do believe this card, I think it's four-star skill moves, I believe it is. And I do believe he is better than Havoc and sergeant so i am gonna put him up here let's move him over a little bit perisic now perisic has got that four star skill moves with the five star weak foot and that is something i've always loved him for he's got amazing pace every time i play this card he absolutely destroys me but i don't believe i can put him on the level level of verna cunha and sancho so i am gonna put him here olmo one of those players the cat in a cam roll outstanding i remember reviewing this card and i absolutely loved him he was that cam where i really like a player that is very agile he's got a sh good sh uh, shooting stats on him pace wise is really good and the passing wise is insane obviously but he's always been one of those players where i've never seen him be you know lived up to the a like aaa section with like sancho and stuff i do believe sancho is a better cam than olmo but I can't disrespect Olmo because he is ridiculously good. Muller. Now, this Muller stats, this Muller card ain't even that bad. Like, it's not great, but it's one of those players. It's one of Muller's been one of those players that he's never been used in FIFA a lot. But I'm not going to put him on the level of Paulson and stuff. I believe he's on the same level as Harrow and Sargent. So let's put him down there. Luca, ba I think it's Luca Bacchio. I used this card when it actually came out. I think he was going for like 160k, if I remember. The four-star, four-star, obviously, weak fan skill moves. He was actually a pretty decent player. Now, is he on the same level as Perisic and Olmo? No. For me, personally, no. Kostic, a, a, nice, a nice player. Obviously, what lets him down is a two-star, three-star. I think it's the three-star, two-star. I'm pretty sure he's got that two-star weak foot with the three-star skill moves, though. But, come on now. You, you can't be going around in FIFA 20... In FIFA 20 and thinking that you can run over with like a three star, two star. It's just not going to work. Kane's the four star, four star cam. I did actually really enjoy him. I do believe him and Olmo is like a very, very similar player. They kind of got similar stats as well. But it's one of those situations where if you're going to tell me, would you take Olmo or Kane's? For me personally, Olmo all day of the week. Now, Joao Victor, this guy right here, he gets slept on. He's got a five-star weak foot with the four-star skill moves. It's really, really nice. It's just what lets him down is those dribbling stats. And for me, João Victor has never been one of those players that lived up to expectations. If you're going to run with a five-star, four-star, you're going to have to be one of those players that is going to feel good on the ball as well. Come on. Let's all be honest. He's got decent agility, but what lets him down is that ball control, the composure. It's just nothing is there, really. Now, Hazard, Hazard's brother, obviously, Eden Hazard's brother. Uh, the four-star, four-star is always going to be nice on him. But he's never he's never been one of those players that, like, lit anyone up. Let's all be honest. Like, the physical stats, they're just terrible. The passing is pretty decent. Shooting ain't the end of the world. You could obviously uh, fix over chem style. Dribbling is decent on the ball. He hasn't got insane pace. But can I put him on the level of like Perisic, play, uh, Perisic player Rashika? No. It's a no from me, 100%. Now, Havertz, I recently actually did this card. And I still to this very day love him. Without a doubt, he's in the S tier. This card, if you actually haven't used him yet, his positioning, off ball positioning, and his runs, like the IQ on the runs, 
just out of this world. The four star, five star makes him unbelievable as well. But he's got pace. He's got dribbling. He feels amazing on the ball. He's tall. He's got the shooting. He's got the passing. He's even got the little shield towards him. You, there's, I don't personally, I don't think there's a better cam than him. Where well, in obviously the Bundesliga. Now Haaland, the three star, three star. You could say all you want, but the three star, three star for me most likely will never go in my team. But this card is broken, broken, broken. Six foot four, okay? He's got dirty dribbling, dirty shooting, dirty passing, dirty pace. There's not much you can do about this card. Honestly, he causes defenders a bit of an issue. And six, a six foot four player to dribble like Haaland does, you don't see that very often. Now, Nabry for me has to be up here. Now, coming into the late game, Nabry feels a bit clunky on the ball. I'm not going to lie to you guys. But when it comes down to pace, shooting, he's got a decent pass on him. Now, obviously, physical stats aren't the greatest, but I don't believe I can put him. I don't believe I can put him like above. Sorry, under. I mean, Omo or Keynes, or Player or Rashika or Belarabi. I think Nabry is. I would say three times better than them. S Vine for me has to go down here. The only thing that's bad about this S Vine card is obviously the free star. Free star. It's the biggest letdown. And the same thing about obviously that Javinho card that came out at the same time. Pace is amazing. Dribbling is amazing. Shooting is there. The physical stats are there. Honestly, if this card had four star skill moves, I actually do believe he would have been up here. But for me personally, if you're going to have free star, free star, you have to be as good as this guy. You really do. Because if you're not, you're going to go way further than expected. Now, DRB. I know a little bit about this card. I don't know it insanely enough, but it's one of those cards where he's physical stat slack and he's stamina slacks. And for me personally, if you're going to get a card, especially a future stars, I believe this card's going for around 40k on Xbox, probably around 50k on PS4. You're going to have shooting stats that's going to slack a lot on him. You're going to have physical stats that stacks a lot on him. He's never really lived up to his expectation. That's something I can agree with. And I really hope this guy obviously gets like a, a future stars next year. That is, what, 10 times better than this? Because this is a bit disrespectful. Let's all be fair. The shooting is terrible. The pace and dribbling is there. The passing is a little bit there. But he really doesn't look like a future star, if you would tell me. Now, Coutinho, for me, he has to be here. I don't believe Coutinho... It's, an, it's arguably, arguably. I believe Coutinho is better than Olmo, and I do believe he's better than Keynes. But is he up here? That's the real question. Is he up here? For me, personally, you kind of have to argue. And if there was a B plus, I reckon I'll put Coutinho there. But I'm not going to do it. I understand he's got the five-star skill moves. He's got like, The thing that slacks on, on him is the pace, and you have to obviously add a chem style that boosts that pace. But... I don't know, man. Coutinho has been one of those players that has got an amazing shot. His dribbling is outstanding. His passing is outstanding. His pace slacks a little bit. His physical stats obviously slack a lot. But a five-star skill moves and a four-star weak foot is what makes this card, like, unbelievable. I'm thinking of putting him up there. I really am. I'm going to go through this one more time at the end, and I'll probably put him up there. Now, Cordoba, the five-star skill... No, sorry. Is it the five-star skill? I think it's the five-star skill moves. I believe it is on him. The 92 pace, the 87 dribbling, the 87 an outstanding card and i don't argue with this at all he definitely deserves the b section Komen, i believe he's got a four star i think it's four star three star or he could be four star four star i'm not 100 about that but the shooting wise is what lets him down a lot i remember using this card and i don't believe he deserves to be under here not on muller's level not on hazard's level he's definitely a player that can go here but for me personally He's never been one of those players that really lived up to his expectations. Like, if Bayern got far in the Champions League, and obviously if they, you know, this coronavirus thing didn't come into play, I reckon he would be up here. I really do. Coleman's not one of those cards that is bad at all. He's a card that lets him down on physical-wise, but when it comes down to shooting as well, not the greatest. Now, for me, I haven't really seen uh, seen this card in action. I'm not going to lie to you guys. I've never actually used him. So this one could be a bit inaccurate. Where this card is a league SPC. Now I've never seen actual I've never seen people actually use him either. If you've actually used this card, let me know in the comment section because I've never played a game in weaker league where they have this card. Now if you put the right chem star on this card, 
He's dirty, I must admit. He is dirty. A four-star, four-star. The physical stats obviously slack a little bit, but when it comes down to sh like attacking stats, he's actually a pretty decent player. But do I believe he's better than Coutinho? S-Vine? Keynes? Olmo? No. Bailey, for me, I loved. I really did. I, love him. I loved him when he came out. But can I put him on Sancho, Nabry, Werner's level? No. But I am going to go through this one more time. Now, S, S tier, we've got the Lewandowski, we've got the Royce, we've got the Havertz, we've got the Haaland. I don't believe I can move any of those down. The Cunha, the uh, Werner, the Sancho, the Nabry, I believe is perfect. Bellarabi, Rashika, Palia, Perisic, Olmo, Keynes, S. Ryan Coutinho, I believe is the only player getting disrespected here. I honestly do. If there was an A-, minus, I'll put Coutinho there. Just bear in mind that. Havertz, Sergeant, Muller, Luka Bakayoku, the Bakayoku, Luka Baki, oh my god, I can't say his word, L Luke Baki, Bakio, Luke Bakio, I said Bakayoku, I don't know why, anyway, Kostic, Jean Victor, Hazard, Diaby, Boati, Boatius, I can't really pronounce his name either, my bad, all my Dutch, all my Dutch fans, let me know how to say that, Volen, Tarum, Quason, Poulsen, I don't think I could change anything of this. I really don't. I believe, for me personally, I believe this is perfect for what I see. Maybe you could argue Harrod, but I believe Harrod is one of those players that is amazing on the ball. But when it comes down to shooting or even physical stats, he lets you down a lot. But for me, that's going to be my best attackers in the Bundesliga. Now, if you disagree, this is a bit of an upgrade towards the last tier list, obviously. If you disagree with me, there's an actual link in the description that you can that you can make your own. Okay, once you make your own, there will be multiple people making their own. You must understand that. Tier Maker, the the website I do use, will actually like let me know a percentage wise of everyone. So they'll make like an average of players that people have voted for into this. So if most people have put Lewandowski up top. Tier Maker will put Lewandowski up top. If you most people put Royce up top, people will put Royce up top. So if you know what I mean, like people, multiple people will do it, but then there'll be an average. And I'll be actually making an episode where I'll be comparing mine to the average community one to see if it's near enough the same. I can I can obviously see Coutinho going up to an A though. But that is going to be it for the video. Leave a like, leave a comment, and for now, peace.